your ears stick out so much, I could use them as antennas. See, this is the problem, because mm. we know too much about each other. We know way other. too much. <laughs> it was something neither of us were really expecting, but for some reason, when we walked into the room, we just really got along, and yeah. that kind of continued throughout the shoot, and it made every scene exciting and fun. He's very thoughtful. I can imagine mm. him being very, very, yeah, you'd be. Yeah, I think um, I. Uh, romantic. I don't yeah, know. I'm pretty I'm romantic. romantic. Ever since he rose to stardom, Will Smith has been the talk of the town, but not always for the right reasons. Before the actor made headlines for the entirety of 2022 following the Slapgate incident at the Oscars, the Men in Black star found himself surrounded by another major controversy back in 2015. This involved the actor's bond with his co-star, Margot Robbie. As several sources claimed, the King Richard star was romantically inclined to the 23-year-old Margot during their time together. And one of their intimate pics together that made headlines back in the day further convinces fans this might have been the case. Take a look at this and tell me what you think. The married life of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith has always been a lightning pole for controversies for decades now. And even before the Set It Off star confessed to the Suicide Quad actor about cheating on him with August Alsina on an episode of Red Table Talk, Will Smith was once accused of being unfaithful to his wife. The story revolved around the actor's time with Margot during the production of Focus, as several rumors claimed that the two were romantically involved with each other. But the thing that added fire to the fuel was their intimate photoshoot session, which led many to believe that the actor was being unfaithful to Jada Pinkett at the time. Well, it seems that has just been confirmed, all thanks to the pictures taking over the internet. One fan even took to Twitter, writing, so he was cheating too. However, after the news started garnering more heat, Margot did come forward to make a statement and provided clarification to fans who were convinced the two slept together. It was sexy and fun and, <laughs> yeah. and dramatic. I mean, you guys look like you're having a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, we had a ball. It was a really good shoot. Reflecting on the whole drama, the actress clarified that things were being taken out of context and claimed she only shared a working relationship with the Men in Black star. The Suicide Squad star further expressed there was absolutely no truth to the allegations of the actress being romantically inclined towards Smith. Another insider also tuned in with Margot's explanation and claimed that Will Smith and his co-star were just being friends. The insider further clarified that the two were just being silly during the intimate photo shoot, which led many to believe that Robbie posed threats to the Men in Black actor's marriage. Although it can't be said for sure whether the King Richard star slept with his DC co-star or not, Jada Smith didn't seem to be much bothered by the situation until a new wave of photos checked in. The Red Table Talk host also joked about the situation by asking her husband to not get intimate with Robbie on screen. The two seem to get along pretty well, and maybe Jada should genuinely be worried. However, there was a time when the two co-stars did not get along with each other. In an interview, the Barbie actress revealed how she once called off Smith for making her wait during the audition process for their movie focus. Oh, you know, after 20 years, I actually, you know. And she a little freaky like that. Yeah. She, like, she a little freaky like okay. that. The actress was off to an island in Croatia backpacking with her brother when she got the audition call for the movie Focus. And there began her tumultuous journey to reach New York from an apparently semi-remote island. Talking about the whole ordeal, she recalled, I end up having the craziest 24 hours of my life. I'm soaking wet because I'd been swimming. I get back to the hostel at 6 a.m., no sleep, turn my phone on, and I've got all these messages. They want you to audition for Focus. Your flight leaves tonight. There's only one catamaran to the mainland, and it leaves in 20 minutes, so I'm grabbing my stuff, and I race off, and I get the catamaran. Is the chemistry between you and Will, yeah. was that immediate? Yeah, as soon as, I, I don't think anyone was expecting it, especially not me, but when we walked into the room, we just, got along immediately and and then after waiting six hours at the airport and flying to France and then to New York Robbie is an absolute mess with her shoes shorts and clothes absolutely wet and to top off that the airline has lost her luggage with just a six hour sleep in the last 50 hours and no clothes and makeup Robbie has finally made it to the audition in time but her co-star apparently hasn't I walk into the audition and it turns out Will was running late he comes in and says, sorry, I'm late. I was coming from Queens. And I looked at Will and I was like, yeah, well, I just came from an island off Croatia and I'm here on time. While most would prefer to keep their mouths shut in such a situation, Robbie called Smith out for keeping her waiting. 
It is nothing less than a bold move calling a senior actor out, but Margot has always had a bit of a daring streak in her. Calling Will Smith out for having made her wait after she just had the craziest 24 hours of her life seems just like what the Wolf of Wall Street actress might do. While most actors have the risk of getting fired after calling out an A-lister, Robbie fortunately got the part. In an interview, she remarked, When they hired me for Focus, they said they liked my audition. I was like, so I got the job because I looked like shit and called Will Smith a dick? It worked out well. Acting 101, I guess. You see, there's a science to getting people to trust you. I want in. With your current skill set, you don't. Maybe he could teach me in your room. And there it is how Margot and Smith ended up starring together in Focus, which led to a string of rumors and speculation of the two having an affair behind their respective partners' backs. The cheating scandals in the Smiths' household seem like a never-ending tale. Jada's affair with the rapper August Alsina was the beginning of many ends, when the Gotham actress revealed on her Facebook's Red Table Talk what the young rapper had already announced to the world, the fallout and eventual reconciliation between the couple had already happened and they confirmed they were together, stronger than ever, and unconditionally in love. From there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. However, what would not be revealed on Jada's talk show was how her affair might have been a cause and effect reaction to another blown up rumor being circulated by the tabloids. The 2020 episode on the Red Table Talk confirming the actress's affair with Alcina was linked by internet sleuths to the 2013 rumors of Smith's alleged affair with Margot Robbie. Although married in 1997, the institutionalized concept of tying the knot didn't really fly well with the actress. Jada confessed years later that she would be forced into it by her mother after getting pregnant with Jaden Smith, her and Smith's first child. The years ever since were a blissful era of Hollywood's most adored celebrity couple, a bond that even the 2013 rumors couldn't damage in the people's eyes. The bad boy's actor had a famously open marriage, and it was further established when Jada defended her husband's public comments of appreciation for Robbie in 2015. But those comments were quickly forgotten when three years later she commented on Red Table Talk that she harbored a racial bias toward white women with blonde hair. I have to admit I'm guilty of that to a certain degree because I do have my own biases, specifically to blonde women. Blonde hair on white women just triggers me. Although she elaborated on that by claiming it was because of her being bullied and teased by girls during her childhood about her skin and hair, many also commented that it could be an indirect reference to her hostility toward Margot Robbie. These hostilities were then added to the already growing list of reasons why the Bad Moms actress hated Margot after the 2020 announcement of Jada's four and a half years long entanglement with the R&B singer and rapper August Alsina. It's really difficult for me because we have white people in our family. Well, I remember you telling me never let anybody know that. Ever since the post-production days of the 2015 romance crime drama Focus, the tabloids were having a field day with the fact that Margot and Smith, the two leads of the film, had skipped the rap party post-shoot and instead spent the night in Smith's trailer. The rest of the details were left up to the imagination of the audience, even though pictures were supplied from behind the scenes in abundance to facilitate the rumors of what really happened. The rumors were further fueled when Star Magazine released photos from an after-party in New Orleans during the shoot that revealed the two actors lifting their shirts and posing in a photo booth. Insiders questioned the pair's behavior, which further substantiated and legitimized the tabloid rumors. When the film premiered, the on-screen chemistry between Margot and Smith was visibly off the charts. The Australian actress who rose to fame after starring in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street had, at the time, garnered a blonde bombshell image, which she decimated in the coming years with her brilliant career as an actress and producer. But the timing of her fame suited the tabloids, and Robbie in turn shut down the allegation via Twitter. For once, fans also sided with Jada's claim that Smith had something going on with Robbie. One fan wrote, I didn't know Margot Robbie was married. I still thought her and Will Smith was dating, with a second one posting, the chemistry that Will Smith and Margot Robbie had in their movies was too much to ignore, especially on the movie Focus. A third guy chimed in, simply asking, Will Smith and Margot Robbie were effing at one point, right? Well, what do you think, guys? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.